Say what, say what, say what You know that I like it, baby Ooh, girl, you know what's up And you know what I need Ooh, say what, say what, say what You know that I'm out at, baby Ooh, girl, you know what's up Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year! How are y'all feeling today? I know it's been a minute since I've been on. Thank you for sticking with me in 2023. Make sure you drop me some comments and let me know how this new year is starting for you. Let me know some of the goals that you have as we enter this new chapter just talk to me in the comments because i really miss y'all as you saw by the title this video is all about making your wigs look natural really excited to do this because every time i do these type of videos it always helps someone days in months in even years later i receive comments saying how helpful this type of content is so it's only right that i make one for 2023 a lot of you have been finding me as of late due to some of my videos going viral on instagram and tiktok which is awesome but what i realized is that i have a lot more newbies watching my channel so i think it's great for me to start off with this type of content one thing i realized is that a lot of you still wonder how to maintain your wigs especially your synthetic ones because we all know synthetic wigs the shelf life it depends on the wig it depends on so many different factors how you wear it how often you wear it how you package it back after you wear it the products that you use and if you've been watching me you already know that one of my main go-to products is my simply styling silicone spray i talk about this all the time and they're actually sponsoring today's video you already know how i feel about this a lot of you watched my video where i talked in depth about why this silicone spray works so well for synthetic and human hair wigs and I received great feedback from that video and since I've been talking about it. This is just a holy grail product for me straight up y'all. I use this every time I'm wearing a wig every single time because it's just so great with the maintenance it helps me detangle it helps me restore the shine Ugh, it it really brings life to my wig now mind you when i'm wearing my synthetic wigs i still know that they're synthetic i'm not expecting human hair so they're not going to last forever this is not going to get rid of tangles forever but it definitely alleviates some of the frustrations that we normally experience with synthetic wigs. Now, I'm really excited because Simply Stalin, which is a black owned business by the way, based out in Dallas, Simply Stalin has some new products that I just want to quickly show y'all. Y'all see this? They came out with shampoos for synthetic and human hair. Are you kidding me? I've been waiting for this. I know one of my other videos last year, I showed you that they came out with shampoo and conditioner for your hair, like your actual hair. But I was wondering when we were gonna get a wig shampoo and we finally got it for both types of wigs. So I'm super excited about that. I want you to watch this clip right here where I'm using the product and look at how it works. Listen, y'all already know how I feel about Simply Styling. It makes my heart sing to be able to rock with a black owned business where their products actually work. They actually do the job that they say they're gonna do. So if you're interested in any of these items, the silicone spray, the shampoos, you can definitely go on www.simplystylinghair.com and you can use my code Gladys right here on the screen to get your $5 off when you make your purchase. I'm telling you, Y'all already know that when I like something, when I love something, I cannot shut up about it. <laughs> so I really hope that you're able to try these products and get something great out of it. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying them. Report back, you know, in a week or two. I just had to let y'all know that because I really stand by Simply Styling. Shout out to them for supporting your girl throughout the years on this channel. Now, before we get into this tutorial, I do want to quickly speak on the hair on my head. Y'all, I'm obsessed. I have this bang in five colors now. Ridiculous. <laughs> but I reviewed it for $20 Tuesday last month. This is by Outre, Brindley. I have it linked in my description box. Just go get her. Y'all already know how much I love Free Trust Brisa, which has since been discontinued. This is the closest that I'm gonna get to a Brisa because, honey, she's serving in this color. She's serving in this style and this texture. It's a nice, natural, yakky texture. Ooh, it feels awesome. On Instagram, I cannot stop talking about it. I highly recommend it. Make sure you check out the tutorial for this video so that you can make it look more natural like I did. Yeah, it, it's laying the way it needs to lay. I just had to let y'all know that. Go grab this wig. And you can get it for anywhere from like $20 to $35, depending on where you shop. 
y'all let's get into this tutorial the wig that we're looking at today is this pretty little lady right here this is miss vanya 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 by outre and it's from the melted hairline collection this is my favorite collection by outre because i just really like the lace and i normally like the hairline i noticed in the past year the hairline hasn't been as consistent on some of the units <sighs> so you know i'm looking at this one and it's it's looking it's looking like it could be tweezed a little bit more but right now today i'm not going to be doing any tweezing i'm trying to make this tutorial as just beginner friendly as possible just giving you the basic steps to make your wig look as natural as possible and i wanted to choose a style that looks natural on me this number two color that's my natural hair color a shorter style i think that looks very natural on me and these curls y'all see that oh this is good the texture feels nice too it reminds me of like it's a yakky texture similar to this texture here almost like a press and curl that you would find like on maybe type three type four hair that's what this feels like i really love it on the inside of the cap you do have your two combs here in the front you have a comb in the back and you have adjustable straps with an elastic band which is great if you want to wear your wig glueless and that's what i'm gonna try to do today y'all i'm gonna try to see if i can rock this in a glueless state so bear with me this is going to be a talk through tutorial the video might get a little long but y'all have told me before in the comments that y'all like when i talk through in real time with y'all so i'm going to do that let's take off this little mama right here Woo! you see my fresh braids oh my homegirl braided my hair and she did such a good job i was like damn you might have to braid my hair more often so when it comes to making your wigs look natural first you gotta look at how you're cutting the lace on the wig so here I've already cut the lace right but do you notice here let me let me zoom in here you see how I tried to cut it in like a more jagged motion you got to do that y'all because if you just cut the lace straight across it's not going to blend seamlessly into your skin the way that you think cutting in a jagged motion helps it blend better and you'll see there are other videos on YouTube that explain exactly how that works also there are scissors that help you cut it in a jagged motion too I forget the name of the scissors I'll make sure I link a pair from Amazon in my description box but make sure you cut that lace in a jagged motion okay next thing you have to keep in mind when making your wigs look natural how does it fit right so I'm gonna toss this this wig on. If a wig does not fit properly on your head, it's going to look a little humpy on you. It just might not look very natural. So I'm gonna toss this on real quick here. I am using the um, elastic band. Okay. So this is what we have going on here. This is Miss. Vanya straight out the pack do y'all see the vision here this is how she's looking this is the before oh man this is so pretty you see how that lace is looking it's you know it's not matching my skin but we're gonna fix that with this elastic band this is fitting very comfortably on my head and it gives me hope that I can wear this confidently glueless we shall see i'm really loving the va va voom of these curls let me know what y'all think too oh okay but i'm not gonna like rock the curls exactly like this i'm probably going to finger comb through them so the wig is on right one thing i like is the way this is laying like this is not oh it's a little humpy up top i'm definitely gonna apply some heat the first thing i'm gonna do here is address the lace so since i'm doing glueless there are two options right you can either use your tint spray of choice normally i use ebon tint spray but we're not gonna do that today today we're gonna use foundation this is the foundation i'm using by covergirl in the shade d90 i find that using foundation on lace when you're trying to blend the lace so that way it matches your skin tone it works really well because liquid penetrates the lace and it just helps it match very well don't be out here using um powder on the outskirts here to try to blend no don't do that because it's going to look chalky and you're gonna give your wig away we don't want that you can use this for the parting space but when it comes to this lace try out foundation so what i like to do is i like to take an angled brush 
and this is only like 99 cents on Amazon I take an angled brush you can tell I use this a lot because there's makeup all over it and I like to put a little bit of makeup on the brush like so just a little dollop and I'm gonna get up close and show y'all how I how I do this oh, shit. so you're gonna see right now how using this foundation is going to make this lace look Ooh, I feel like I took a lot on here hold on so you see I'm applying the foundation on the lace and you see how that color, hold on, let me get it back in focus. You see how that color is changing and it's matching with my skin. Y'all see that? Look at that. Look at that. Do you see this? So look at this and then look at this. Do y'all see the difference? <laughs> I'm telling you, this foundation is liquid. It, it does wonders, especially when you have already cut your lace. In a jagged motion my god this lens needs to stop acting up <laughs> i swear to goodness i hope y'all are doing okay th down there though like wherever you are watching from really hope that you are having a very prosperous new year i hope you're being kind to yourself because the reason why i've been away is that i've i've had to pull back and really be kind to myself and take care to my, take care of myself and not push myself. I have workaholic tendencies. I have bad habits that cause me to neglect my self care. So the reason why you haven't been seeing me around is because I'm trying to do better in those areas. And sometimes when it comes to creating long form video content, I just I just get so caught up and I forget about other things that are important. So. You know, we all have our struggles. I'm trying to adjust the focus so that way it stays in focus. But this looks so much better. And the fact that this comes with an elastic band makes it all the more, oh my God. Look at this, y'all. I'm not even, <laughs> am I about to wear this glue? This is why I love melted hairline. Now, mind you, this hairline, it could be plucked some more, but for a beginner, it'll do. I feel like I'm being a little finicky here by adding more foundation, but you know. Look, do what you gotta do. There is no glue on this hairline. Y'all see me apply no glue? And this thing is laying, honey. Laying. Do y'all see that? Look at the God damn Gladys. What you what you out here doing with these people? Oh my god. I think the trick is to get a foundation shade that's a little bit darker than you. I don't know why, because I've tried this with a foundation that was my exact shade and it wasn't it wasn't giving this. I've been doing this trial and error for a while, and this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so Right now, your girl is wearing this glueless. You see? No glue. That's what we're doing right now. I'm not a like huge baby hairs person, so you will not see me doing all that. But we're about to style her and get rid of these pageant curls because this is what it's giving and I don't really care for that. Next, when we're making this look natural, we gotta get rid of the humpiness up top here. So I always go in with some type of blow dryer. This is my old school handy and this blow dryer just turn it on and you see look at the difference here when i use a blow dryer versus when i don't so sometimes people want like volume here and that's fine but i don't like that type of volume <laughs> I don't like my wig to look humpy so that is why I use the blow dryer and it works out very very nicely for me let's tackle this parting space y'all we're back up close and personal so here's the thing about wigs you know it's a wig you can tell by the screen door you see right here you can see that on all wigs human hair synthetic hair whatever most of the time I just go in with some of my fit me powder this is like a tried and true you see how much of I've used over the years oh my god and I go like this and I just, hold on. And I just add powder here. 
I do that to make it look more natural. I'm also gonna pluck this right here because this is just unnecessary hair. That is coming through right there. This kind of gives the part a more clear pathway. Don't be afraid to pluck hairs that just don't belong there. <laughs> so that's what it looks like with powder. And you can see it makes somewhat of a difference. You might still see the screen door. For me, it's not a huge deal. However, last year I did come out with a video called Seven Easy Wig Hacks, right? And in that video, I amazed myself because I was able to make a paste that made the screen door disappear. In the first video, it looked a little orangey, but once I kept practicing it, it looked way more natural, as you can see in this video. So, I highly suggest you watch that video, Seven Easy Wig Hacks Part 1, if you want to practice a cute little hack. It was a lot of fun, and y'all really enjoyed it too in the comments. All right, y'all, let's style this hair because I want the curls to look a certain way. Synthetic wigs are great because they already come styled, but that doesn't mean that you can't customize it to your liking. Now for this, normally what I would do is just, I would start finger combing the curls, but I'm gonna go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush. This is actually my favorite detangling brush. And I'm just gonna brush through the curl and also at the same time flip it in the direction that I want it to go, like so. This is what I'm doing. And do you see how with just a few simple brushes, the style has transformed literally so we we went from this to this with just a few brushes this is with me not even cutting the hair or anything just using the natural curls that come with the wig and it's beautiful y'all this is very pretty very very pretty and that's what i would recommend when you are brushing your curls out just make sure you brush it in the direction that the curl is naturally trying to go and then you can figure out the rest from there look at that y'all see <laughs> y'all need to start brushing through y'all wigs you over here talking about oh it looks synthetic but did you brush it did you comb through it come on now sis let's get with it in 2023 i'm here to help you oh this looks beautiful absolutely gorgeous <laughs> Real quick, y'all, another great tip is you can also use a blow dryer brush to help shape the curls, especially if they're going in really wayward directions. I did this on Nisha 204 and I absolutely loved the result of this wig, so I had to make sure I inserted it in this video in case y'all want to try it out. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Please drop a comment and let me know if me talking through like this and the video being long as hell is helpful to you. <laughs> You know, I feel like in the, ooh, shit, I think my wig just shifted. I think in the age of short form content, sometimes as creators, we um, forget the value of long form. But that's why YouTube exists, y'all, for the long form content, okay? And I hope y'all are here for it in 2023. Y'all, this wig is bomb. Bomb. I don't see anything wrong with this unit. Do y'all see me? Come. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing in this wig. For real, I look like I'm getting flued out in this wig. I look like my rent has been paid through the entire year in this wig. This is my type of style. I love wigs that come like a little past my collarbone. I love the fluffy curls. I love face framing layers. Love, love, love that. Notice how that I have not cut anything out of this unit. I could, I could definitely snip a little something like right over here, I could do that. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Sometimes I just can't help myself, but I don't have to do this, y'all. This is purely optional because honestly, the way that they layered this, phenomenal. This to me is giving 10 out of 10. It's fitting comfortably on my head. I do have a 22.3 circumference head, size medium in most cases, but if you have a larger head, you can opt for not using the elastic band and maybe just gluing it down. Now you notice that over here in the corners, right? Let me just tell you something right here. The corners, you know, if the wind blows, this is gonna show. So you have two options. Either you can cut it, which I know some of y'all are not gonna wanna do because y'all scared of scissors, 
or you can literally just go in with a black sharpie or a marker or dark brown black like right here i can use this black eyeliner here and you can just fill it in sis literally fill it in you see how easy that is because I don't want to worry about laying this like from ear to ear like I'm wearing this glueless so I'm not doing all that and you see how it's blending now it's a done deal <laughs> you know it's a done deal and this is the final look let me know what you all think about this unit in the comments I'm absolutely here for it sometimes what I like to do is go on my simply style and silicone spray and just spritz a little something around because my wigs love this stuff they love it. And remember, when it's time to wash your synthetic or human hair wigs, consider trying these products using my code GLADYS. So this is my beginner-friendly tutorial featuring how to make these wigs look natural in 2023. We can all slay together. This was not difficult, right? Let me know in the comments if this was easy to follow. Let me know if you tried this for your wigs. Also, I have a whole wig 101 playlist featuring more how-tos because obviously not every wig comes constructed the same. So there are other wigs that may not have like this frontal hairline where I do something totally different. That's why it's important to check out multiple videos to get different ideas on how to tackle different wigs thank y'all so much for rock with me and waiting for me and being patient with me as i go through just another transition in my life right now i've been very active on instagram and tiktok we are definitely going up in the numbers over there we just reached 26k on tiktok and we just reached 22k on instagram please find me over there when you don't see me on youtube this is going to be probably the only video i drop in january i'll be back full force in february after i come back from some trips i'm going on so i will see y'all before valentine's day please hit me up on other platforms i love y'all make sure you check out these other videos to catch up with me and yeah i'll see y'all in the next one love y'all bye Say what, say what, say what You know that I like it, baby Ooh, girl, you know what's up And you know what I need